I was a pre-teenager when I was cons confirmed by Bishop Spofford at St. Mark's in Hood River. Along with my Sunday school friends, we attended all the confirmation classes taught by Mrs. Best. She was the best. And looked forward to the day, even though we were not sure what to expect. And in those days, the one thing we did know was that once we were confirmed, we would be able to come forward and receive communion. That is not any longer the practice of the Episcopal Church because we understand baptism as the primary rite. As we were prepared for the day of our confirmation, I remember being told, and I don't remember who told me that, I'm sure it wasn't Mrs. Best, but someone told us that the bishop would have us kneel in front of him and press his ring into our cheek and then slap our cheek. <laughs> and I thought, why does this have to be painful? And why do I have to be now afraid? And just to let you know, that was a practice. That was a practice. It wasn't, um, I understand, a hard slap, but it was a slap. Well, as it turned out, um, Bishop Spofford did not slap our cheeks. He did press his ring into our cheeks, but it wasn't, certainly wasn't like branding. <laughs> and it felt important. It felt somehow uh, like a moment of great gravity and um, even uh, officialness even though I didn't fully understand it. My memory of my confirmation was that it was very solemn, it was very serious, even though our bishop was a kind man with an easy smile and a huge laugh that filled up the room. But we all knew something important was happening at confirmation. Now, you are all adults, and you have reflected on this day as adults do. Probably weren't throwing spitballs when Bill and Beth were teaching catechesis. <laughs> you studied as adults carefully, as curious learners, and bringing your wealth of experience to bear on the decision to be confirmed. And many of you are bringing another tradition that is being serving as the background for your catechesis to being confirmed in the Episcopal Church. In many ways, the work that you have done in catechesis has been the hard work. Now, whether you have prepared for confirmation or reception or reaffirmation, you are here today because you believe with your entire being you believe that Christ is alive in you, in the church, and in the world. And you want your life to reflect that light. You want your life and your actions to reflect that truth. It's as if in your preparation you have been asking, yes? And today, we are all here, virtually and in person, joining you in saying, yes, yes. And just what exactly are we saying yes to? Beyond the catechism and all that you have learned, what is this yes? Especially in today's world, we are right to ask, what is this yes? It's an affirmation of Christ in our lives, for sure. It's an affirmation of our belief that without God, living is difficult and is susceptible to arrogance and cruelty and selfishness. It's an affirmation that community, our own solitude, is better and stronger when we practice forgiveness, healing, and the promise of new life 
the way that Jesus lived and taught. It's also an affirmation of our desire to be more than we are today. It's an affirmation of wanting to hear God's invitation or question or command. It's an affirmation of our ability to, ability to say with love and devotion, send me. So let's take a moment to talk about this burning desire to serve God in all things. Behind the eagerness and desire, there is a deep longing to be called into the work that will bind us closer to God and to each other. This longing is for community. It is for connection and deep meaning with others. As Christians belonging to the Episcopal branch of the Jesus movement, our longing is not about being set apart from others as if we are more special. Our longing is not about being more right or being saved while those others are not saved. It's not about being extra special. For us, it's about living in the space between human suffering and divine wholeness. Put another way, it's about healing. Healing ourselves and our communities. Today, we are saying yes to Jesus when he asks us to see him in the stranger. Today, we are saying yes to Jesus when we shelter the houseless. Today, we are saying yes to Jesus when we feed the hungry and clothe the naked. We are saying yes to rolling up our sleeves and digging deep, not only in our own lives, but in the world that desperately needs kindness, Forgiveness, patience, wholeness. So I want to thank you for stepping up today. Because in stepping up, you are leaning in. You are leaning in to do the work our faith calls us into. And I'm grateful that in a world that seems mired in chaos and confusion, you have been able to listen with the ear of your heart and then harness the courage to follow. Today is a good day to say yes. Today is a good day to affirm your desire to follow Jesus Christ in the communion of the Episcopal Church. It is good because I do believe your commitment today confirms what we know to be true. God is on the move, and we need each other as we hustle after God to keep up. We hustle after God in saying yes to accomplish what God is calling us into. Yes. Yes.